Okay, 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 okay. It is currently Tuesday, January twenty first, twenty twenty. Um. Okay, okay. I I just I just can't. I'm like. So excited! So it is uh, close to around five o'clock at the moment, um, and I am so excited. So this came out uh, the nineteenth. Okay, so two about two days ago on Sunday, and I have to be real with you guys. I only read like the first like two three pages. Okay. Um, as I was reading it, I I remember and I was like, "Yo, it's time. I have to. I have to. Okay, I have to record this and you know, fuck it, put it on YouTube, right? Uh, do something with my life. I stop being a lazy bum. I don't need headphones, so I'm gonna just fuck it, take it off. Okay, I don't fuck it. Well, what the fuck am I listening to, right? So, yes. So, two days later, I'm finally getting to this chapter and. I am so fucking excited. Um, last chapter was just so fucking great. And I am so excited to just like get this done. So with that being said, this is chapter 968. This is One Piece, chapter 168, Odin's Return, okay? So this is the first page. We have... Uh, you know, uh, Be- Beiji's uh, crew is still in Dressrosa. Uh, they're still probably looking for uh, her sister, uh, Beiji's wife's sister. And uh, the last cover page, last week's, uh, she was getting her hair. She was in like a fucking salon or something, getting her nails on shit. I don't know. And Marines came in and she was caught. So... We didn't know what happened next, and right now, as we can, as we can tell, she's caught. So now they're trying to save her. So, gang Beijis, gang Beijis, oh my family, volume seventeen, save the boss's wife. <sighs> and this is like uh, uh, the official Viz comic, uh, shonen, uh, so. That's where I'm reading it from. So this is like the official uh, translation. So let's let's get it started. Let's fucking go. Okay. Um, when Roger returned from Laftel, Retaro came to him and asked him something, only to shed tears afterwards. The birth of the king. The birth of, I can't fucking read. I'm like. The birth of the king of pi- of the pirates caused a stir around the world, prompting the navy to leap into drastic action. The man who achieved wealth, fame, and power, the king of pirates, Gold, Gold D. Rogers, Gold D. Rogers, Gold G. Gold Rogers. Hey, that's Gold D. Roger. But I gotta say, King of the Pirates has a nice ring to it, and then we have. Ooh. We have a uh, Roger just kind of laughing there, chuckling to himself. Um, well, at this point, I can understand why the world government would want to hide your name. Who is that? That's okay. I don't understand why he would want to hide their name, his name. It's really interesting. The world at the world at large referred to everything that Roger gained as one piece. Okay. 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 And they have no idea. Wahahaha. <laughs> but because of that fame, they'll all come after you now, Roger. Now I'll be the one to take out Roger. Find Roger now. Steal his treasure. They said gold Rogers got everything in his hoard. Yo. <laughs> okay. 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 I have to go this way. Okay, so look. 
I've always had an issue with this, okay? And like games or like manga series or anything. This makes no fucking sense. Look, you have it, literally every news outlet in One Piece calling him the king of pirates. And you have so many fucking pirates that think they could just go and challenge him. Like, you literally are trying to go up against somebody that's called King of the Pirates. What makes you think you can compete? What makes you think you can compete? No. Sit your ass down. And just keep doing you, okay? You're going to get wrecked. You're going to get absolutely destroyed. You have no chance. Just sit down and continue being the low-life pirate you are, okay? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Look, they're hilarious. They, I just find it hilarious that they think they could challenge Roger or any of the, you know, Yanko at this point. The man who achieved... This is uh, really The man who achieved wealth, fame, and power, the king of pirates... Oh, wait. <laughs> wrong page. Wrong panel. Looking back at it, Looking back on it now, it's all been mira- miraculous. See how far we come, came once I already knew I was going to die. I have nothing but gratitude to you all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the gushing feelings out of nowhere, Cap? You can't do that to us. You're going to make us blush, you rascal. <laughs> rascal. Oh, he has the same reaction I did. I do. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Woo. Okay. Alright, here it goes. We're ready. We're ready. Lay it on us. No, 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 no. Okay. I think this is where I stopped. I read I read I read up to this panel and then I stopped, okay? And oh my god, Roger. I am hereby disbanding the Roger Pirates. <sighs> I get the chills again. Yo. Oh. So right after. I mean we all knew that he disbanded it. And he's going to die really soon right. Um. Oh my god. This this was chills. I, hearing about it. And actually seeing Roger call out. Oh we're, we're disbanding now. It's. Oh, it, it feels some type of way man. The birthing is at hand. Our sovereign will be born to him. And another in a distant sea. The whales are delighted in anticipation of the day the two sovereigns. So, 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 sover, sover, severance? Severance? Shall meet again. We have been waiting for so long. It is almost here. And surely we will all. And surely all will go well this time. The the sea kings are talking to themselves. Well, not themselves to, to to each other. You know, like you just you know have to yeah. Just like just ten until the birth, and another fifteen to grow. Who the hell's talking out there? Probably Roger. He can hear him. Or Roger, calling out to the sea kings that can hear. Yeah. Or Roger calling out to the sea kings that are talking. Because he can hear them. You know, voices, all that thing and shit. Who the hell's talking out there? Hey, Charlie, when is this mermaid princess going to be born? So this is probably like a flashback to um, to when he visited uh, uh, Fishman Island. Or this is probably after he disbanded. It, it looks like it's like a flashback, but I, I mean, I don't, I, I can't read, so who knows. I'm certain that the voice is speaking. I'm certain that I'm certain that voice was speaking the truth. Someone will be born and eventually surpass us. See, we were just too early. The one piece they call it. I wonder who will find it. That will be my son, of course. <laughs> you, oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to my boys. And then we have Raleigh just kind of like nervously saying, oh, you don't have one. But little do, little does he know. Oh, my bad. Uh, but I will just do wait. Wah, ha, ha, ha. 
All right, time to drink, lads. Head us towards the sea where the Navy won't be waiting. I'll be the first off the ship and make sure Odin gets home next. I wonder if he's going to turn himself in next page. Oh, this is it. This is it. And then we have to drop off Odin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pause. Be right back. So. I have this like red pimple on my face. Don't look at it. Although, I don't I I mean, I can't really tell how so what it is. I mean, fuck it. Who cares? Okay. Where was I? Where were we? Um, did I finish the other page? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so, it looks like Odin, or they might drop off Roger first, and then head over to drop off Odin afterwards. Um, so, let's just see how that goes. Let me see. I can't zoom out anymore. I feel like this is not like... I don't know, it's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're calling out, okay, so I intend to meet white, I intend to meet with Whitebeard before I die. Should I have, should I have him send Izzo back to Wano? No. Stomp Trump, stomp Trump, go ha ha ha. No. He's become very comfortable on that ship. Tell him you'll take care of White, White? Kachi? Why Kachi for me? He he, will do. Oh, Izo, the um, I don't know why I just blinked for a second. The other, the other guy on Whitebeard's crew that's from Wano as well. Uh, Roger said something to his oldest confident, Rayleigh, Rayleigh, the man they called the Dark King. Yo, I absolutely love Rayleigh. He is definitely one of my favorite characters. Is he crying? I can't. I might have to zoom in on that. I don't. I don't want to mess up like the page that's up there. Wait. There we go. I don't want to mess up the page that that's up there. So I'll just post. I'll zoom it posts. Um. And then he stepped off the ship. He had a whole bunch of medicine from the ship, Doctor Crocus. His disease was in its final stages. Crocus, the OG. But this was a man's farewell. We were utterly stoic. Not a tear was shed. <sighs> For the crew of the King of the Pirates who never ever cry. <sighs> the seas around Wano. It is brutal as ever. Piles of, it is as it's as brutal as ever. Piles of wrecked ships that try to fail to then try and failed to get in. If you steer into the wrong rapid currents. This is Odin talking. Sorry. This is Odin. If you steer into the wrong rapid currents. Your ship will be smashed into pieces. Without getting any closer to Wano. Until this point. There was a purpose to this country being closed. But now we must open its ports. Before that day. Joy Boy appears. Before that day. Joy Boy appears. <clears throat> okay, okay. But this was a man. Fuck, I don't know why I keep doing that. It's not like it's not though as I'm dying. Foreshadowing. We all know what happened to him. So of course we parted with a smile. We all know that we'll meet again one day. Shanks, buggy, everybody's crying again. Oh my god, dude! I got something in my eye. I'm not crying. I promise. Oh, Odin, how I missed you. Toki. Ooh, the fam. Momosuke, Hiyori. How I missed you all, too. Very, very much. Yo, ho, ho, the fam's back together. Oh, and the scabbards. <sighs> Look how big you are. Now, Momosuke. Yes, father. What's this? You got proper manners, too? <laughs> I may need to check back to see how old he is. I've. <sighs> Welcome back, scoundrel. And right, you're. <laughs> of course, man. He, you know, is his loyal scabbards are. You had to give him a little. You had to give Odin a, a little bit of shit for just you know running off. 
And where are your manners? Proper manners. Oh, I didn't realize you were deserving of manners. <laughs> Shots fired. Lord Odin. Welcome back, Odin. Lord Odin. We're so happy for you, Otoki. I seem to be popular? Question mark? I thought they would be angrier. You should be grateful to your wife, Lady Toki. She is a woman of great character. Once her sink has passed, she went into town and helped uh, the people with their work. I didn't know she was sick. She is a woman of great character. Once her sickness passed, she went into town and helped the people with their work. Interesting. She never put on airs for being the wife of a daimyo. She worked with sweat with she worked and sweat with everyone else and told exciting tales of your adventure. Lady Toki and the children are not tremendously beloved figures in Curry. Curry? Because of all the great things they said about you, the number of people who disparage your willful has dwindled down to nothing. Yo, Odin is loved in Curry right now. So I'm assuming like the next steps he like that will have to do is like taking care of well, he has to go back and become the the ruler of Wano, right? Um, I can't believe I'm, for, I'm forgetting the word off the top of my head. That's so, oh my god, I'm frustrating. Uh, you did that for me? Thank you. It's only because we love you so much, Odin, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had game. <laughs> Oh, I love dude. I wish I had game too, bro. I need some game in my life. Kiku, I wanted to see, uh to speak to you about Izo. Oh, I reheard from Dog and Cat that all that matters is that he's well. I see. Interesting. What about Denjiro and Ashura? I didn't see them a year ago either. Hmm. Ashura was leading the uh, Yakuza and the bandits in Kerry to make sure they didn't go wild. Then Jiro's been wandering all over Wano, borrowing and paying back money. Holding back brigands borrowing money. Holding back brigands. Brigands? Brigands? These are the signs of a... These are not the signs of a healthy country. Interesting. I mean, we know, um, at this point, we know, uh, um, uh, cut. <laughs> Fuck, what's his name? Oh my god, dude, why am I blanking? Orochi. Jesus Christ. So we know Orochi at the moment is in charge right now. So. Maybe since uh, when Odin had came back and dropped off Toki and uh, and when he's arrived at the moment, uh, Orochi has done so much more harm uh, to the country. Because uh, I mean, I, like like Odin said, these are these. It's not a healthy country right now, man. Yes, there is another reason that everyone is delighted about your return. I will tell you the story in order. After you left the country. We did our best to manage Curry in the absence of its uh, daimyo, with the absence, with the assistance of the populace. Okay. So my father was really, so my father, so my father really was in poor health, and I regret that I was unable to be present at his deathbed. I wonder how much that's gonna haunt him. At his deathbed, the real problem is. The Shogun's successor to our Chargan, your father, Shogun Shikiri, recommended the no none other than Orochi to to be in charge. Hmm. The more I heard, the more confused I was. Orochi was like a brother to me now. All I did was lend him money out of consideration to Yasu please lend me money He's crying and snotty I fucking hate Orochimaru Orochimaru 
wrong comic, wrong manga, and he never wants to return a single coin of it. Of course, he's uh, he's a sleaze bag, bro. He's oh, fucking hate him. On top of that, Orochi was one of the descendants of the Kuro Kuro Zumi Kuro Kuro. Kuruzumi clan that caused terrible acts incident in the past. Okay. And now I find that Kuruzumi Orochi is occupying the position of Shogun as proxy. <sighs> oh my god, that is such a dope panel. <sighs> as I'm sure you saw on the way here, there are a number of weapon factors in each region, full of supervisors managers the labor they're in. By the shogun's own edict, there the men have been put to work on factories on wages too cheap to live on. Okay, so we know that we know that uh, Orochi had struck the deal with Kaido at one point. So I wonder if at this point, if Kaido's I mean, not introduced to was in this flashback, but I wonder if he's already in Wano, uh, trying to like. Already in Wano with, uh, Orochi, just plotting away. Uh, how can this be? Why is simply why is everyone simply obeying a sniv sniveller like Orochi? The problem is Orochi has the support of a pirate name. Call it. I called him, man. Kaido, and he is strong as a monster. Orochi is taking advantage of that to do whatever he wants. That's right. And if we were to fight back against Orochi. Stop, uh, Kineman. Don't tell me anything. No, speak of it. Well, speak, man. What is it? Raizo. Take Lord Momosuke and Lady Hiri out the room. You see him dashing away with them. About half a year ago. All right, because... So this is half a year later. Ish? Well, this is the year, close to a year after when, uh, no, 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 my time is all wrong. Never mind, just ignore me. About half a year ago at we at a weapons factory, there was a man who refused to work and his family, <sighs> and his family were executed. Holy shit, that's tough. That was the last shot. We had enough of Orochi's bar barbarity. In our anger, we took up swords and marched to the father capital to st uh, put a stop to it. to put a stop to Orochi. But in the meantime, Kato's father snuck in Curry into Curry behind us. They infiltrated the castle and threatened the life of your future heir to the Kozuki clan, Lord Momomosuke. <sighs> Chills again. Oh my God, the ultimate enemies were ult ultimate ult. Ultimately, the enemies were driven back by Kawamatsu and Dog Storm, who had been standing guard at the castle. But none other than Lady Tokyo, who gave up her body to black the enemy's arrows, were first to strike, to struck, were first struck. I am so sorry. It was because of our rash actions that Lodi Toki has suffered a terrible wound to her leg. We w we expose your family to mortal danger. I am so ashamed. I have no excuse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Show me Toki. It's fine, Norton. The wound has already healed. They shot an arrow through you. Oh my god. My leg. You protected our son. You did so well. It must have hurt. Stop Bolden. If you get anger over something trivial like this, the enemy will only... Oh, oh in a serious face. <sighs> trivial? Toki, you haven't heard stories about my past. I've seen how Oroji does things. Stay here and protect my family, man. Protect Curry. I don't know all the ins and outs of this story. To to turn to turn our land. I do, I'm so sorry. I'm like so excited. Okay, I don't know all the ins and outs of the story. I just know this: we have people who I stopped are trying to stop Odin from doing something. 
Stop, Lord Odin. A fool has taken control of Wano. Yeah. Moron. Definitely has. A weak, cowardly fool using the strength of a fearsome pirate. <sighs> taking advantage of this closed nation where no one can interfere. To, uh, to turn our land into a hellscape. <sighs> Odin is about to go off and I am so excited. Let's go. Um... I wonder if he's gonna go straight to fighting Kaido, cause I oh, I don't want to take too long. How long has it been? Fifteen minutes? Okay, I can't make this too long. Oh, I still have five more pages or uh, four-ish more. Um, cause when we initially see him join, we don't know how much longer he's got if he's gotten into fights or whatever. Uh, Odin, but um, when he initially clashed with Roger, he had no hope to fight back. Like it was, what he? Oh, Odin didn't stand a chance, man. So, huh, I don't want to say like he has no chance against Kaido. Uh, I mean, obviously in present day we saw that he was the only one to damage Kaido. So I'm assuming he had to get a little bit stronger, right? But I mean, either probably not enough to actually damage him, or he actually put work into Kaido and something else killed him. Oh my god, okay. Kazuki Odin is on his way to the flower capital. Report to Lord Orochi. You mean Lord Odin is back? The legitimate heir? Will he be the new Shogun? The real Shogun. Oh, look at, oh my god. Yes, Odin, go off, bro. Yes, dude, Odin, oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Orochi being a fat... <sighs> Sleazy pig, he always is. Uh, Kazuki Odin has entered the castle. The soldiers were. The soldiers are wiped out. Flee, my lord. No, wait. Lo, I mean, Odin, think carefully. Kaido's not gonna like it if you attack me. Think about what will happen to this country. <sighs> Please cut him in half. I know it's not gonna happen, but he needs to be cut in half. Only after I cut you into two. Oh, yes. And then Orochi being panicked as usual. Uh, oh no, I forgot. This guy is crazy. Thinking to himself. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. I am so fucking excited. So. <clears throat> I'm assuming there's going to be a few more chapters of the flashback. I think we're we're definitely very close to, uh, I would say, uh, not the present present, but the present where this flashback would leave off. And then we, you know, we have that, 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 that gap where everything's gone to hell in Wano. Um, <clears throat> uh, Kawatsu, Kawatatsu. Oh my god, I butchered his name so bad. I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, he was put away. We know the, the other scabbards were... Uh, um, in hiding. I'm so sorry. And some of them like went off to a few different places. Um, or were scattered around. Um yeah, so I, I, my theory, there's not going to be that much more. Um, we had left off with uh, Odin about to cut off or cut attack uh, Orochi. Uh, and I think that Kaido will most likely uh, be there to defend him. If not Kaido, then one of the other possibly uh, henchmen that... Uh, Kaido uh, that Orochi has in his uh, arsenal or uh, even uh, maybe one of Kaido's uh, crew members uh, is there like watching over Odin and was just like I don't know in the back of the fucking castle or something um, so we know Orochi survives sadly because um, we've seen him in present day and you know trying to ruin the Straw Hats plan to uh, get back and uh, destroy Kaido um 
so I'm I'm uh, Yeah, so oh my god. Okay. One of those two things has to happen. Um not entirely sure what uh and then, you know, we still have a few more chapters and I think that's when we're gonna see like the fight with uh power between a fight or some kind of fight with uh with Kaido and uh Odin. Um and we'll get to see what happens to the rest of uh the crew. Um I think definitely everything is going uh it, it's gonna go to shit uh in Wano uh after this. Um so we'll just need to see what exactly happens. Um so with that being said, because I know I rambled a lot, um this was nine six of one piece nine sixty eight reaction uh kind of read through uh just kind of first impressions and um i i put off everything uh to make this video um and i'm really excited to see what happens in the next uh next chapter uh which is in a few days so no break thankfully yes um and i'll see you all next time deuces <laughs>